here, folks. Welcome to Emerald Live. Yeah. The show that just keeps cooking. <laughs> hey, you know, although I love a lot of, uh, I'm even afraid to say this in front of Doc, but, uh, you know, you guys know how much I love cooking savory dishes, but sometimes I just get this intense sweet tooth. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah. yeah. So tonight, I said to myself, no! the heck with dinner, let's just go right for dessert. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've got some delicious and divine desserts in mind. And speaking about unbelievable, give it up for Doc Gibbs and the Emerald Live Band. <laughs> Sweets. Yes. You've just been waiting for all my week favorite for this. show already. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, folks, it's all about the sweet finish right here on Emerald Live. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> so, sweet and divine. Yes. You all up for this? Yeah. You want to know what we're going to make? Yeah. I do, too. <laughs> Good evening, Jay. Jay, let's give him a peek of the old menu board here. We're going to teach him first about a wonderful bittersweet chocolate tot with some homemade coconut ice cream. Have you ever, ever heard of dirty rice pudding? No. no. <laughs> it's pretty dirty. <laughs> and then a wonderful lemon ricotta cheesecake that I'm going to show you this divine sauce to go with that. That's just, oh. And then, you know what? I was thinking about this because, you know, we've been doing this in the restaurants a lot. There's nothing and fresh, out-of-the-oven, hot chocolate chip cookies. I mean, a wonderful. Roxy, you all right over there? Yeah. Nothing. You know, we've been doing that. We just kind of, you know, the guests will order dessert. Right. And they'll sit down and have dessert. You know, a nice piece of banana cream pie like yeah, you've had yeah, many times. Yeah, that's right. And maybe a little chocolate tot. And then all of a sudden, these hot, warm, mm. chocolate chip cookies mm. out of the oven. Mm. A shooter of ice Tom. cold milk. <laughs> Just, oh. Oh. Talk to me. Oh. <laughs> oh. There's a little, uh, for this chocolate tot, we have to make a little crust, which is a fancy word called pate sucre. <laughs> la la. 
<laughs> it's the crust. And how we do that is we take butter. <laughs> well, it's a pastry dessert show. <laughs> so you might see a little butter and sugar tonight. And then what we need to do is we need to just sort of, just sort of get this going a little bit here. The butter, soft. And to that, we'll now add sugar. So what that's doing is basically the method is called creaming. So that's together. Now. That's creaming. We're gonna scrape it down. Scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl so it's all incorporated. Little technique there. <laughs> now, what we're gonna do, a little pinch of salt, some cocoa powder, which is gonna give it this wonderful chocolate experience, a little flour, is we're making a dough is what we're basically making. Now, we're going down with this here. Slowly, I would not even dare turn this on high speed. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna incorporate those dry ingredients. And to that, we're gonna have an egg and a nice heaping tablespoon of cream and a nice teaspoon of vanilla. Kind of whisk this together here. This whisk might be just a tad big. Oh, a whisk for a four-year-old. Isn't that nice? So now what we're going to do is take this liquid, which will be the only liquid in here. It's going to start coming together, and it's going to be, like, very crumbly. So at home, don't be afraid that it's getting crumbly. What do I mean by that? See, it's not totally together. It's still going to be crumbly. We're going to knead this into a ball. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you how we're going to line a spring form or one of those bottom out, you know what I mean. <laughs> but you got to wait for that till we come back. So stick around. We'll be right back. Doc Gibbs! <laughs> tonight. Yeah. You know, it's really amazing. We're asking some of the uh, folks on the Emerald Live crew about uh, this uh, show, you know, being all sweets. And uh, they were like, you know, Chef, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good show, actually, because uh, most people are always constantly looking, scratching their heads about desserts. You know, they kind of got the savory things. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just us. I don't know. <laughs> so kind of always think about dessert last, right? Right. That's right. And then it's too late. There's always bananas. <laughs> All right. So, that crust that we made, we want to knead it. The best thing is to make it a day before. You keep it in the refrigerator, and it just does something. But crusts do that. They're best when they're cold. Then you take them out, and 15 minutes later, with a little help for some flour, and uh, you want to get this thing probably 14 inches or so, kind of round if you can. And that's going to go into this tot shell, or a springform pan would work as well, but I kind of like this 
spring form. You want to make sure. Now, I told you about this dough also, right? It's, uh, it's pretty fragile. Not a lot of liquid. You saw how much liquid is in there. So if it somehow busts or breaks, don't panic, OK? So what we're going to do is use one of these pans here. And uh, basically, we're just about there. So now what we're going to do is try to fold this thing over. Like I said, it's going to break. I may get lucky, but I doubt it. <laughs> so you want to... Uh. <laughs> now... The great thing about this dough, like I said, if it breaks on you, crumbles, look, it can easily just be put right back together like this and stretched out. So that's basically the bottom of the crust, and then you can just kind of do this. Now, there's another term used. So how many people do a lot of baking? Really? Okay. So then you might have heard this, this term called blind bake. You've heard of that? You kind of blindfold yourself? <laughs> Try to bake? No, I'm just kidding. That would be you, Roxy. <laughs> Basically, what that is is you get a little piece of parchment paper like this, and um, they even sell these things, you know, these pie weights. I just use dry beans, different ones, no big deal. If you want to buy the weights, buy the weights. But basically what we're going to do is at about 350 degrees, we're going to blind bake this thing for about 10, 12 minutes. So it gets the crust already started. That's basically what it is. All right. So the crust is already started. And uh, now, basically, it looks like this. You see, it's kind of... It's kind of like, well, it's kind of like baked 10, 12 minutes. Right. <laughs> now, the next part of this is the filling. I have some chocolate over a double boiler, and we're going to start with four eggs. Oops. I hate when that happens. Now, I'm going to start. Really getting those eggs going. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add sugar and a tiny bit of flour to this. There we go. So it's a little unusual because generally for this sort of filling, the eggs would be separated, so you'd have the yolks that would go in the chocolate mixture and the whites that would be whisked stiff by themselves and then folded in. Not with this one. So you get the melted chocolate over a double boiler, not too high. And then basically now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding this dry ingredients to the egg mixture. See, and it starts to get very pale. And then what we're going to do is when it gets really pale and twice in its volume, we're then slowly going to add the chocolate mixture to that. And then that mixture is going to go into the filling. And we're going to put it in a 375 degree oven. And I'll show you what it looks like when we come back. Doc Gibbs! <laughs> Thank you.
So another new toy. Another new toy. I'll, I'll let you tell this story. Well, I'll, I'll tell the story. Let me show, show this mallet here. Let me get a look at this thing. We, uh, you know, Doc and I always, we get kind of some presents every now and then. But this man, uh, who is not a percussionist at all, Larry Johnson's his right. name, actually. Okay. He's from Wisconsin. He sent you and I this drum. And um, I think it's called, you and I disagree with this. I think it's called the tongue drum. Tongue drum, that might be possible. Because it's, well, but Doc thinks it's called a... A log drum. A log drum. So, Larry, if you're out there, thanks for the drum, but clarify the name for us, and uh, we're going to have Doc email you here. And, uh, but God, just kind of look, it was very, like, pit, like the motion picture, you know? That's very cool. Yeah, got the groove going. Uh-huh, little bass now. Come on, Charles, here we go. Come on, baby, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come on there, Cliffy, baby, let's go. Oh, we got the tongue groove, yeah! Woo! Doc Gibbs and the Emerald Live Band! All right, welcome back! Very cool. All right. So now, what I started doing is I started the chocolate slowly in here. So we got the crust. See if I can do this from this side. Sorry, you. I just uh, I'm trying my best. All right. So all the chocolate is in there now. Now we're gonna kick up the speed just a notch. So the egg mixture got pale. Then we added the chocolate. Now, oh yeah, babe. So this is almost like a light souffle, if you will. Vince, what did you do? Lock this thing up on me? <laughs> Vince! They're a little sticky. Vince! <laughs> oh, you're not there now, huh? <laughs> Oh, now you come. How do you unlock that thing? Sometimes it just sticks. What are you working out? <laughs> Did you what? unlock it? Uh, you brought so. a mallet with you. Oh, I man. think that's why it's in You know there. we're in trouble. He comes out with a mallet. It's I'd like to there. go. What? It's in there. It's good. What do it's you mean? It's not coming out. Here, help me pick up the machine for a second. <laughs> you... Here, can you scrape that out? Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Okay. So, thanks a lot, Vince. All right, so we're going in the oven with this. 375. Ouch! Everything's happening to me tonight. Man, this is what it looks like, anyhow. We're gonna let it cool. I'm injured. Oh. I'm injured, Doc. Oh, man. I may not be able to play the drums tonight with you. Oh. All right. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is a real cooking show. Look, I got some cream that I'm gonna infuse with a bunch of spices right here to make a spice cream. Because when we come back, I'm gonna show you how to make this incredible what's called dirty rice pudding. Stick around, we'll be right back. <laughs>
joining us, I'm Emma Lagasse. We're making a few divine desserts right now. We're gonna show you one, but first, uh, right during the commercial break, I took that cream and spiced it up. I had a little vanilla bean, a little star anise, a bay leaf, black pepper, a little cinnamon, allspice, and I wish you could smell this. I know you can, but I wish you could smell this at home. It's really a shame not having smell vision I mean, we put food... <laughs> We sent food to the moon, and we can't have smell vision I mean, go figure. Uh, and, of course, you want to be careful when you're scalding cream like this so you don't have to decorate your house, because if it boils over, <laughs> big problems. Now, I'm going to come back to that in a second. First, we want to let this cool a little bit, and it's still a little hot. Ow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not been a good night so far. <laughs> Just kidding. So, you know, Doc, sometimes... See, it's gonna, it's gonna crack like this. So of course, we uh, know that. Hey, Vince. Yeah. <laughs> Vince? Yeah. <laughs> Vince. What, was it? what are you, what are you you're thinking? I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like, um, what do you think? <laughs> yes, it's probably a good, not a bad idea, Vince. Sometimes you just gotta spoon it up. What do, what do you think? Uh, it's a little loose, no? A little loose. <laughs> Thank God for the crust, huh? Yeah. That's all right here. Why don't right. you take this back there with you and uh, we'll keep cooking this. Try to save my reputation tonight <laughs> here, one way, one way or another. Well, I'll take it. it has a home. I can always count on my NASA friend. It has a home. Oh. The moon is not full out there tonight, is it? I don't think so. All right, so. I'm going to continue. I'm going to bounce back from this right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 yeah! All right. Yeah. Come back to you. What we're going to do now is we're going to drain that cream that's now a spice cream. And then what we're going to do, look at that cinnamon stick, orange, but all the flavors in here right now. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna add the spice cream. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Just a little, few drops. <laughs> oh, now the, now the stove's gonna break. <laughs> I love nights like this, Doc. <laughs> you want to switch? I, well, I don't know, man. It... But I got risotto rice, arborio rice that we're going to put in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to stir this. It's going to take about 25, 27 minutes, roughly. You got to keep stirring it like risotto, right? Now, as that happens, we obviously have a rice pudding, a risotto rice pudding. But now we want to sort of make it dirty. A little bit. <laughs> I'm being sabotaged here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take some dry fruits, <laughs> put that in a saucepan, right, like that, and then we're going to take. the juice of a lime and a lemon. <laughs> what the heck is going on here, Doc? <sighs> you know, that really aggravates the heck out of me. 
I go to the grocery store, that happens. I'm calling the store manager back. And I'm yeah. Look. Uh. I mean, it didn't say juiceless. <laughs> Vince, call Flay. Tell him to come in right away, will you? <laughs> All right, little vanilla bean. Now the juice of a lemon. Ah. Yeah. I mean, look, I didn't even got enough juice in here to cook this thing. Let's try a little water. <laughs> that seems to be working tonight. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bring this up to a little simmer here. And uh, basically, this is what it looks like when it's done. So we're gonna take out the vanilla bean. Look at that syrup right there. Mm. Oh, yeah. All that nice reduced lemon and lime juice. <laughs> so now we're gonna put it right inside of this with some pistachios and some almonds, okay? Yeah, all right. Vince, I'm feeling like this is gonna work. <laughs> all right, so, now we wanna make the pudding. So, this is what it looks like when it's cooked. And of course, it's got all of that wonderful flavor in there from the cream. We're gonna add a little whipped cream. Wow. Oh. And then we're gonna add a little bit of this. Ah, we'll add it all. <laughs> we're gonna add the nuts and the dry fruits in here. And we're gonna fold this in to make our dirty pudding. Okay, well, now that we've got one dessert, we, uh, when we come back, we're gonna show you how to make a, a lemon ricotta cheesecake. Stick around. desserts tonight. Yeah. A little lemony ricotta cheesecake. I feel confident in this one. My confidence is back. During the commercial break, what we did is we took uh, graham crackers that we put in the processor with melted butter to form a very, very nice crust in a spring form pan, which is what we have here. Now we're gonna lock it up. I've got cream cheese at room temperature, very, very important. If not, you're gonna get a lot of lumps. How's the rice pudding? Oh. Hey, that spice cream, huh? Yeah, finally we got one dessert. <laughs> we're working on number two now. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start adding to the cream cheese the sugar. And then we're gonna add the ricotta cheese. This is the fresh kind, so there's not a lot of liquid in here. If you have cheese that has a lot of liquid, you may wanna strain it a little bit. And then the lemony flavor is gonna come from the zest of a lemon. That munch does it. Now, here's the key. Eggs. Mm. 
We're gonna add one at a time. And then I'll show you another trick. Now, in order for this to get on completely incorporated, we've got to scrape it down and make sure that there's no lumps on the sides plus the bottom. We want to make sure that it's all incorporated nice and smooth. See that big lump of cream cheese that I had right there? Nah, we didn't want that. It's all good, it's, it's not gonna happen. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> Can you imagine one of these going out the sixth story? <laughs> that might be rough. The construction oh. guys across the street won't. <laughs> no more signs. All right, now. No, I'm very confident. So we're gonna take this off. See how nice and smooth that batter is? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on a roll right now. Yeah. Now, you wanna get that filling a little bit from the crust, 350 degrees, 360 degrees. We're gonna put this in. It's gonna take about an hour and 10 minutes. All right, let's put it in this one. And don't be sticking anything on it. Now, one of the things that you'll read about is some cheesecakes call for a water bath, so we could put some water in that pan. Some don't, don't ask me why. Um, we're gonna do this one without one. Keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't cook too, too much. But the theory is in the water bath is so that the steam, when it gets hot, cooks the bottom evenly as the top. That's the whole theory behind that. Now, with that lemon ricotta cheesecake, I have some Supremes of grapefruit and uh, limes and a little bit of mandarin orange. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook them a little bit I have extra limes, you can see now, in case I uh, run into any problems. But before I cook, before I cook the Supremes, let's make the cookie dough batter. Not, not only is this fun to do with the kids, but I'm telling you, you make this ahead of time, brown sugar, regular sugar, make this ahead of time, and you can keep it wrapped up in the ice box. And when you're let me tell you, Bake them nice and hot. They make a great dessert. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar. And then I have semi-sweet and sweet. Then we got flour, little baking powder, and just a couple of, uh, a couple of eggs. So what we're gonna do now, once that butter gets incorporated, or creamed, I should say. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the flour mixture. a Little bit of vanilla. And then we're gonna slowly mix this together. Two eggs. We're gonna add one and two. And then to that, you can see the dough is coming together now. Oh, look. It's doing something magical here. So now we're gonna add the chips. So that's the cookie dough, all right? Yeah. 
So you want to form them in uh, at least this size here and put them on parchment paper, which I'm going to do. 375. I'll show you what this looks like in the lemony ricotta cheesecake when we come back. Stick around. Back here. to it. We're in the home stretch. A little butter. A little sugar. And then we're going to take some fresh thyme and just kind of infuse. Oh, yeah, babe. Now, while we're waiting for that butter to melt down, what we're going to do is make some ice milk. So we're going to take some fresh milk. Oh, yeah, babe. <laughs> Sweeten it with a little sugar. And then we're going to take a vanilla bean. You want to split the bean in half. And then what you want to do is you want to scrape the vanilla. That's where all the vanilla is, right there. So I'm going to let this fuse itself as well. Oh, yeah. See, that's where all the vanilla is. You find that middle? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Oh, yeah, babe. What a finale. Now, once you dissolve the sugar, put it in the ice cream machine based on uh, manufacturer's suggestions. Oh, yeah, babe. For some ice milk. Now, we're going to start letting it churn. Now, back to the butter. See, we're getting a little caramely here. We're going to go in with the Supremes. Oh, yeah, just let that time in there. Little Gramonier. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. about an hour and 10 minutes. Then you take the cheesecake and let it cool. And then you got to let it firm up. And how I do that is basically just let it firm up, go around the complete edge of the spring form pan. All right. Now, what we're going to do is this. You want to cut a wedge of this. See, and you get that stuff. It's just natural, but you want to clean your, clean your knife. So we got this lemony ricotta cheesecake. You see? And then, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the Supremes of the fruit, fuse with the thyme, and you're just going to just sort of, you're going to hit it just kind of like that there, you see? Uh, so that's, that's that there. And then, When the uh, cookies are ready, about 20 minutes, they look like that. This is what they look like when they're raw. Just keep the log of that and then cut it the way you want. Now, how I like to, uh, to serve this, obviously with that ice milk. When that ice milk gets firmed up in that ice cream machine, then you put it in the blast freezer or deep freezer 
and you've got this ice milk. So the cool thing about this is that you've got the warm cookie or two, <laughs> and then this delicious, you see the texture of this stuff? Because it's ice milk, it doesn't have any eggs in it. So I just put a little bit of that, or you can put this in a little glass, in about 30 seconds it'll stop melt, and you can just shoot the ice milk with the chocolate chip cookie like that. Oh. All right? Oh. Now, an amazing thing happens. An amazing thing happens. Because when I put my chocolate tot inside of the oven, it works. <laughs> Let that cool, and then cut it. <laughs> and if yours happens to be gooey, serve it with straws, is all I can say. <laughs> just sit around and just drink your dessert, divine dessert at that. I'm Emeril Lagasse. I want to thank you for joining me tonight.